Hi there, just a very quick re-review of the E-Cloth Flat Mop. Perfect cleaning with just water. I just wanted to show you that this is still in use. It's the same one I had when I first reviewed this two years ago, but I've used this week in, week out, five days a week, at least three properties a day. So it's had a hell of a lot of use. I do tend to use these pads. The E-Cloth pad, the one that comes with it, utterly useless. The integrity of it failed, as you saw in the first review of this. These Zen-made ones, or Rubber-made, I think they are, sorry, still going strong. The Boner one, still okay. This is an additional one. I'll put some links in the description. I bought a collection of these last year. These are okay. They're not. Uh, they're not the best. These are the best. But these are. These are just great value for money. I think there's about 18 a pack, and they've performed absolutely adequately. One thing I did have an issue with with this was the hinge squeaking. I added a little bit of WD-40 around here. To be honest with you, I forgot all about the fact that it squeaked until I looked back at the video, the original video. I'll just show you the underside. As you can see, the underside has got a bit clogged. This does spend a lot of time traveling in and out of my car, getting stood on the roadside, pavement, that kind of thing. And it is a little bit clogged. However, let me show you this. Everything still sticks to it absolutely fine. Doesn't matter which pad it is, they all stick to it. Right, that's it. I just wanted to revisit this one more time, especially after the issues I had with the boner system. I was concerned about this with it having an extendable pole and I wanted one that was all one length, but this is just so robust. As I say, it's in and out of my car all the time, getting collapsed and reset up. Whereas if you've got one of these in your house, you'll probably just leave it set up. So considering this gets so much hammer, can't fault it. What of the mess on that floor, I better crack on. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. I'll be back shortly with a new video. So if you wanna know about that, click the subscribe button and then when you open YouTube, you'll get a little notification to say I've uploaded it. Right, catch you soon. Bye for now.